Hi guys, again we are back to the IO uh, rifle uh, and uh, let me start with this. Uh, yesterday the president CEO of uh, IO Corporation posted an open letter uh, as a response to our uh, test which we put the uh, we attempted to do the 5000 rounds of stress test on their rifle and in the letter he writes the test started by the blogger hiding behind the actual shooter of our firearm while he was wearing ornamental safety gear so it is very plain to uh, see the implied intention of the individual conducting the test uh, as you know the pt safety belt can create a magic force field and protect the individuals from any danger only because of the well-known reputation of the IO rifles, we decided to use the PT belts as a safety. Because, you know, we, we do care about the safety of our crew. So that's, that was the only reason why we use the PT belts. And here we go again. Uh, we at uh, IO manufacture a quality product and we guarantee our veteran-made firearms for rifle. Uh, me and Paul, we both are infantrymen still in service. We both uh, have been forged at the Fort Benning, Georgia, at the Sand Hill, and we have nothing but the respect for our veterans. And uh, I absolutely believe that if veterans will be in your company allowed to make a quality product, they will do their best job. There's absolutely no question about it. Uh, the key word is if they would be allowed. Unlike uh, certain bloggers who call themselves experts and have a certain agenda, we actually have graduated engineers working for us who are true professionals. Well, it is you, Mr. Ulay, who called me the expert uh, in your email uh, to me, not, not I. I never called myself an expert. I went on the record numerous times saying that I am not an expert that I am still learning and I will die learning. Uh, every time when I hear someone calling himself an expert, I run away from that person as far as I can. But again, in your email to me, you said, since you are a very knowledgeable about the AK platform, I would like to seek your input how to improve our products. That's the end of the quote from your own email. Copy of the email should be on the screen right now. Then you're saying we have communicated directly with uh, this individual to provide assistance and to request that he send the product back to us for inspection by our engineering team. He has denied our request to send the rifle in to verify the true cause of his problem with our product. Well, Mr. Ulay, let me start uh, again because I think you may have some problems with the reading comprehension. Problems with your rifle started immediately uh, with uh, the front post, which the front post was uh, drifting away from the recoil. And then, as you could see, we could manually adjust by using the thumbs pressure only to move the front post left to right. This is extremely unsafe because you are forcing shooter to chase the front post and what is happening with each shot the front post is drifting away so you think you're shooting in one place and the bullets are going into the other place so this was the issue with the front post right away this should be a disqual disqualification uh, basis uh, for the test because the rifle was unsafe to use uh, let me remind you it was quality check and approved by uh, people working for you so as this sticker sticker indicates unless it is just the marketing bullshit so uh, to your uh, defense uh, your crew did send out the replacement post drum and the front post which i did change uh, and put on the rifle uh, also the cleaning rod was missing from the original package and i did receive the cleaning rod uh, the only problem was with the cleaning rod there is you have to use the hammer to hammer it in because there is no way to put it back normally all right but uh, the, the details who cares about the cleaning rod but the main point of concern was after a little bit more than a thousand rounds what happened was and let me remove the recoil spring this is what's happening look the that 
bolt carrier is getting locked and I especially removed everything from here so you guys can see there is no obstruction or anything. The bolt carrier moves himself on the trunnion and the only way to unlock it is to use the hammer or some you know uh, real blunt force to remove that uh, bolt carrier bolt carrier from the uh, lock lock on the trunnion and now let me put it back and again look at guys to show you how the regular AK would react this is AK built on the Polish military parts and look see how the bolt carrier freely is falling down away from the trunnion this is how it should be. Again, let me demonstrate back to your rifle, Mr. Ulay. There you go. This is what happens. And the only way to free the bolt carrier is to use the hammer and knock it down. All right. So this, is, this was the main uh, problem with your rifle. And I did provide it to you in my email response, a high resolution picture of the trunnion where you can clearly see the formation of the trunnion on this uh, rifle and that was basically it that was the you know the end of the test uh, of course you know the stock become loose but uh, that can happen and let's not forget that your rail was a little bit oversized and uh, very popular mounts from the RS Regulate are not fitting on the side rail as well because you are using the old spec uh, for creation of the side rail speaking about the specs you are saying in your letter our firearms are made to the true Polish military blueprints and we have many rifles at our manufacturing plant which have in excess of 10,000 rounds fired through them. I call that absolutely bullshit. Uh, show me even one Polish military AK which is required to use a rubber buffer recoil. Rubber buffer recoil like your rifles are required to use at least my example manufactured in May 2016 this year is required to have this buffer to, uh, to, to correctly uh, function otherwise without the buffer the bolt carrier is jumping out of the rails so uh, I don't know maybe the blueprints are okay but maybe you should hire someone who can read them correctly okay and uh, you know tell you how to do it so this is basically it uh, one more thing the, um, it is true that Mr. Ulay did reach out to me as I said and uh, you can see his email and uh, in his email he was offering uh, for me to travel to IO and uh, cover all the hotel expenses and the travel expenses at the cost of the IO uh, Mr. Ulay for me this is a little bit un unethical in this situation uh, that was uh, you know I had to refuse that offer uh, but also you're saying that uh, you know you are seeking input uh, my input to improve uh, our product uh, if I would have a reason to believe that you are sincere I would definitely help you out but uh, this is not your first time rodeo guys uh, you know what you're doing you know how to manufacture rifles uh, it is your will to do it the rifles the way how you are doing it how you are manufacturing you don't need my input at all to produce uh, a good quality firearm. You know exactly what has to be done. Uh, it is up to you to know what has to be done to prevent the screw ups like this from happening. And uh, this is based on my rifle only. Uh, are there rifles out there made by IO which are shooting and working well? Probably, maybe, I don't know. I'm telling you, this was my experience with the IO rifle, randomly purchased. I purchased this rifle and I purchased the ammo to run the test and the intentions were good. We tried everything with what we could to ensure that we're going to perform 5,000 rounds test and absolutely it failed. And that was the reason to stop the test because we were afraid basically of the safety of uh, crew. And I'm not going to put uh, the people at risk uh, just to prove the point. One more thing. Uh, if you would like to help Mr. Ulay, could you please post underneath of uh, this uh, thread or, or uh, video uh, pictures with uh, your experiences and uh, your uh, real life use of IO rifles so Mr. Ulay can see from you guys, not from me, but from you guys, how his rifles are performing at your hands. Uh, so if you want to do this at our Facebook, or if you want to do this, uh, post the links uh, in uh, YouTube or at our blog, you're more than welcome to do so. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions.